that field has been conventionally tilled all summer and it's destroyed most of the residue on top of the ground and that's where your wind erosion is you can see the dust that's flying across it and it's dried down to about a five inch level and there's adequate moisture below that five inches to get a crop up but you can't reach it. Well I never remember feeding feeding cattle on grass in the summertime you know the grass always was enough to uh, maintain the cattle but uh, this year we're bumping up against running out of grass so you have to supplement. Oh, some of the older cows are it's been real tough on them with the heat and the, the drought trying to this dry grass they're struggling to get enough to with trying to raise a calf and get enough nutrients to keep them in good shape. This has been one of the worst years out here we've had for growing dryland crops, probably since about 2002. This one here is from last year's corn crop that averaged 80 bushels an acre. This is part of this year's crop that, get, that might be appraised at three-tenths of a bushel an acre. Probably about 90 seven percent of this field is going to look like this as we're in a small farming community and our business depends on them doing well so if they do well we do well so you know everybody sits together when the tables get full so there's always room for everybody it's just it's a real close little net group it's fun Yeah, there's a lot of people that went to no-till farming practices. The chemical tillage spraying is becoming more and more prevalent as a means to keep what moisture you have. There's a limit to that too. You you've got to you still have to have rain. I think that's probably one of the things that uh, the general public doesn't doesn't recognize is that that the farmers. Uh, particularly the farmers, probably adopt new technology faster than any other industry. You know, we're used to coping with lack of moisture, you know, quite often. Uh, I think the, the main thing we have to worry about is, is how long this drought lasts. I like the satisfaction of coming out and actually being able to raise crops to see the crops grow when you take it from just bare dirt and you've dealt with mother nature trying to figure out what she's going to do and plan ahead for that. It's been slow. It's been slow, but like they say, there's always next year. Thank you. See ya.